Hello guys, it's Charmaine here from blackhairandskincare.com and sydneynicolehair.com and we're back this Sunday with another educational video. Now before we get into this video, make sure you go and head on over to the website blackhairandskincare.com where we now have the organic leave-in hair cream along with the organic hair refreshing mist. All organic ingredients pair together for greatness. And then we also have our cranial prosthesis, which is our very best full lace wigs. And you get a free trio set with that so you can treat your hair at night and put your wig on in the morning. Now, this Sunday, we're going to be talking about female pattern baldness, a.k.a. andronitic alopecia. With female pattern baldness, thinning starts at the crown of the head. This thinning in women often starts as a widening of the center hair part that leaves the front hairline unaffected. As you can see, type 1, type 2, and type 3. Type 1 is usually minimum thinning and can be camouflaged with styling. Type 2 is characterized by decreased volume and noticeable widening of the midline part. And type 3 describes diffuse thinning with a see-through appearance on the top of the scalp. Usually, um, it's hard to camouflage this. And some people use um, topics to cover that up, which I don't like. And that's mainly because I just want you guys scalp to breathe while it's being treated with my products. Okay, so almost every woman develop um, this type of female pattern hair loss um, in their lifetime. Um, as the name suggests, androgenetic alopecia involves the action of the hormones called androgens, which are essential for normal male sexual development and have other important functions in both sexes, including sex drive and regulation of hair growth. Hair growth. This can also be caused by genetics or some type of underlying autoimmune disease. Because of the shortening of angin, antigen, a hair is growing phase, and a lengthening of the time between shedding of the hair and the start of a new angin phase. That means it takes longer for hair to start growing back after it's shed in the course of the normal growth cycle. The hair follicle itself also changes, shrinking, and producing a shorter, thinner hair shaft, which in turn the hair becomes shorter and thinner. As you can see in um, the picture A, it shows the hair follicle that I've always be talking to you about, guys, that if you still have active hair follicles, you still have a chance for your hair to grow. I think once we heal the scalp, we can then in the future thicken the hair follicle because we're creating a healthy environment for your hair to grow, and then you'll have normal hair growth again. That is always my goal when helping people out and grow their hair back from CCCA alopecia, from um, female pattern hair loss from male pattern hair loss to like lichen plano pioneris, any type of alopecia that is definitely my goal from the jump. Now treatment varies because you know that the doctors have their medications. Um, they also can do hair transplants and also you can use wigs in order to um, cover the hair loss. I have a bundle on my website where you can cover the hair loss with your wig while treating with my product. Now, what I suggest for treatment is to take the pumpkin seed oil pills two times a day and or you can take the liquid um, two times a day. I also just suggest MSM, which is a natural sulfur, um, sulfur which occurs in the body and it has anti-inflammatory properties. Um, I love this stuff for hair growth. I also suggest that you use the trio in conjunction with the holistic scalp cream, massage on your scalp every other day with the organic hair growth oil. And yeah, that's my suggestion. If you would like the personal consultation, please click the link in the description box below. Also guys, I will be live tonight at 8.30 Eastern Standard Time, and I will see you in the live after show. Again, thank you for joining me again for this Sunday's educational video. Bye.